This is David Hoffmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue with Book 2, Unlearning the World. In Chapter 1, this is Section 5, Healing the Perception of World Disasters. Hi, David. I have been very bothered by the ongoing events that culminated in the Pakistan earthquake, in which thousands died and thousands more will die, without more help from the citizens and countries of the world. During the tsunami last year, I saw an outpouring of world support, and this is not happening this time. I have done what I can financially. I know that we are spirit, not bodies, but I am still distressed to see the lack of world understanding that all are our brothers and sisters. My son, who is severely disabled and non-verbal with Engelmann syndrome, I see him as an angel and a blessing, came to me in a dream. He had gone missing and nobody cared to help search for him. This dream came shortly after the quake. When I woke, I realized my nightmare was a blessing that was reminding me to go ahead and donate the money I had intended to but had not yet acted on. I see families searching for missing children and loved ones in rubble and families waiting for someone to carry out the injured and bring supplies as winter approaches. Again, I know that who we are is spirit, that peace is inside each one of us. But I am here at home, warm and fed, with a wood fire burning. Their bodies are cold and suffering, What am I missing in my understanding? What I hope is the world will move to love all people as one. Beloved one, thanks for writing and sharing what is on your heart. Your desire is to be helpful, and this desire is of the Holy Spirit. The ego has distorted what is helpful, for the ego is the belief in the reality of the body. Your perception of world disasters has triggered a need for healing in your mind. In this, the perceived disasters have served the purpose of awakening to divine mind. If any giving is extended out of pity, comparison or perceiving someone as lacking something that you already have, this giving is done out of guilt and only serves to reinforce the belief in separation. If you would truly be helpful then you must clear your mind of false beliefs and allow miracles to be performed through you. The ego and the spirit do not give in the same way. Money offered to alleviate perceived suffering does little to heal the mind. While a simple, loving non-judgmental attitude radiates a miracle that is so expansive it cannot be measured. To be truly supportive and helpful, be open to the metaphysics of healing the mind and recognizing the problem where it is in mind and the solution inner peace. Recognize that there will be no partial healing. You must feel a deep, unshakable peace to recognize that healing has been accomplished. 
direct your efforts inward and the benefits will be immense for the whole universe. Support that which is truly valuable by being very devotional in your mind watching and mind training. Anything which assists you in this endeavor is truly worth supporting and will move your awareness in the direction of true giving as God gives in spirit.